Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Victoria Lin, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys the Aaliyah for Mac collection. So Mac paid tribute to the R&B icon Aaliyah with this beautiful collection, and I remember listening to Aaliyah's music in middle school, dancing with my friends, and I also remember my mom used to listen to Aaliyah a lot. I didn't realize this until recently. I started listening to her music while I was doing this look and kind of doing my makeup with this collection and I just know all of the lyrics because my mom used to listen to her that much. So I know tons of her songs and I was so excited to share this with you guys today when I received it from Mac. The collection was created after a petition was made by her fans. So Mac went ahead and honored that and created this collection. And I think it's really beautiful. They did a really great job. I am so excited to share it with you guys today. And just so you guys know when it's available, it's gonna be available at select Mac locations June 21st. And it will be available internationally online in July 2018. So I'm gonna have all of that info linked down below for you guys. So if you'd like to see the collection, be sure you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You should totally follow me on all of my socials. My handle is Victoria Lynn on everything, so be sure you follow me. And if you guys are ready, I think it's time that we jump into the Aaliyah for Mac collection. So the collection came in this beautiful pyramid-shaped box, and Aaliyah was really fascinated with Egypt, so that's probably where I'm thinking this whole shape of the packaging came from. I really love it, it's super unique and it's almost like a burgundy metallic shade. So upon opening the box, you're gonna come across this silver envelope and inside are all the products. There's also a postcard with Aaliyah's picture on the front and on the back is a really beautiful heartfelt message from her brother Rashad and I'll have that link down below for you guys to check out. There's also this really beautiful white and burgundy bandana inside. A lot of her looks and a lot of photos you see of her, she'll have all different colors of bandanas, but she did have one that is almost exactly the same as this one here. And I'll have that photo down below for you guys to check out, but it literally looks exactly like this in the photo that I saw. So I think that's really awesome. They included some of her like fashion and style in this collection as well. And I really like the bandana. I'm gonna have to rock this and I'm gonna have to nail this look today because there's not many of the Aaliyah and Mac looks out right now. So I'm feeling the pressure. I need to nail this look. So included in the collection are four lipsticks, four lip glosses, two lip pencils, one bronzing powder, and one eyeshadow palette, and all of that is inside this envelope. The names of the products all have a connection to her and her music, and I think that is a really nice tribute with this collection. So we are gonna jump into the eyes now. So this palette here is a times nine palette by MAC. You might be familiar with that format. There are nine eyeshadows in here. So we have nine different colors to play with. And this palette is called AJ Nothing. You might be familiar with her first album called AJ Nothing But A Number. Like I said, there's a connection with all of these names. I love that. So we're gonna jump into the AJ Nothing palette and we're gonna first pick up the shade That's Somebody. It's right in the center. I love that song by Aaliyah. That's definitely one of my favorites. And the shade in the center, that somebody, is like a warm golden brown. So it's perfect for a transition color in the crease. So I'm just gonna start working this into the crease and I'm gonna wing it out. And I'm using this color, that somebody, on a Sigma E40. And this is my favorite kind of crease brush right now because it's so easy to kind of wing colors out with. And I really wanna make this super pulled out. I noticed with a lot of her looks, a lot of the shadow, if it was dramatic, was kind of pulled out more. One thing I like about MAC eyeshadows is they're very buildable. So when you first apply them, they're like a nice wash of color, but if you keep layering them and layering them and blending out and just packing on more shadow, they really start to build so beautifully. And as you can see with this color, that's somebody, it's like a muted kind of almost a neutral brown. It has warm undertones in it, but it's not too warm. It's like the perfect transition. It adds a nice contour and shadow to the eye. I feel like it works so well with all of these colors because they're like a mixture of cool and warm tones. This is the perfect in-between crease shade. So next I'm gonna grab the shade Princess of Soul and this is a matte brown. And I'm gonna start applying this right onto the outer corner. This is definitely much deeper than that somebody and it's a little bit more of a dark, deep brown. It looks so much darker when you apply it to your eye. In the pan, it looks a little bit more of like a medium brown, but it's definitely a dark brown. I really love that there are some nice rich browns and deeper colors in this palette because I just gravitate more towards like a smoky look and I feel like most of the colors in this palette 
are for a smoky look. So I just love that. There's not enough smoky palettes out there. So now I'm gonna grab the shade Ginger Snap, and this is a frost finish. And this is described as like a pinky coral shade. And I like to spritz my brush with some primer water. And now I'm gonna start applying this right to that outer corner lid area. This color is so beautiful. I am in love with this kind of like pinky coral shade. It's really pretty. And it went on like a liquid eyeshadow when I wet my brush. So I really recommend wetting your brush with these more frosted shades. And now I'm gonna grab Creative Copper. And although it's called Creative Copper, it actually is listed as a gold. So it is a gold eyeshadow and it is in a luster finish. So I'm once again gonna spray my brush. Wow, that is so pretty. I really love this color. That's a really nice gold. And I'm just blending this all over the lid and fading it right into Ginger Snap. And I did bring this eyeshadow up pretty high because in a lot of her looks, I noticed the shadow was brought up a little higher. If you do have kind of like slightly hooded eyes like I do, like sometimes you really can't see the shadow very well unless you bring it up high. This is also a really nice trick. So I'm gonna take the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the shade Roach. Not gonna lie, that name really freaks me out. I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing this shade, this eyeliner on the lower lash line and kind of connecting it up. I'm gonna grab the shade at that somebody and I'm gonna start Connecting this up. And now I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the shade Creative Copper. And I'm gonna start applying that on the lower lash line as well. Just kind of going over the brown a little bit over the shade That Somebody. So next I'm gonna grab the shade Love Smoke. And this is a Velux Pearl finish, so it's very metallic. And it is a sterling silver. And you might be familiar with her look from the Try Again music video. She had on like a silver and like black smoky eye. It was really wingy, kind of like outwards. I loved the silver that she had kind of mixed into the black. And this looks exactly like that, like almost exact. So we're gonna go ahead and place this on the inner corners. And I'm just applying Love Smoke right into the inner corner and I'm just lightly kind of bringing it into the eye look on the lower lash line and also on the top. I'm just kind of feathering it in. I think it's really cool that there's like a silver, but there's also a gold in here. And I love using both. So that's really awesome that they have both in this palette. So I'm gonna pop on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back so we can check out some more of the products. So next we have the Baby Girl Bronzing Powder and Baby Girl is a nickname her friends and family used to call her. If you're an Aaliyah fan, you totally already know that. But I love that this is a shimmery kind of all over face bronzer. So this is something that isn't gonna give you extreme warmth or anything like that. It's mainly used to add a glow to the face and to add warmth because there is sparkles in it. So I'm gonna actually do that. I'm using it on a MAC 135. This is a really nice kind of bronzing brush. And I'm just gonna dip into the Baby Girl Bronzing Powder. And it is a really pretty, almost like a medium golden shade. And I'm just gonna start bronzing up the face with it. And with something like this, you can go all over the face with it to just warm up the skin. And because it has sparkles in it, it's gonna add a nice kind of glow. With a lot of Aaliyah's looks, she never had an overly contoured or bronze look. It was always really glowy and really youthful. Her skin was always really flawless and just glowing. So I love that they had a shimmery bronzer in place of like a matte or like a contouring powder. And it looks like with this bronzer, you can really keep adding and adding and adding to intensify the color. This is a really nice, really beautiful bronzer. I love this so far. Really love it. I could totally use this all the time. And you can see when I move my face around, you can see how it catches the light really beautifully. That's all the shimmers that are in this bronzer. Also wanted to mention it has her signature on the bronzer, which I think is really nice. So we have four glosses. So I read some articles about the Aaliyah for MAC collection and said she loved a glossy wet lip look. She always loved lip glosses. And I can totally see that in all of her looks. She has a glossy lip for the most part. So 
that's really exciting that they included one of her favorite products, lip gloss, in her collection. And there's four different shades for us to swatch. So let's get to swatching. These are $17 each, just so you guys know. And I love MAC lip glosses. They smell so yummy. Like, they smell so good. It's the best scent ever. So the first one we're gonna be swatching is Brooklyn Born. And Brooklyn Born is a sheer nude with pearl. Next is Lily's Motor City, and this is a coral with shimmer. Then we have One in a Million, which is a deep, rich purple. And lastly, we have At Your Best, and this is described as a warm berry. So we have two lip pencils in this collection and they are $17.50 each. I really like that there are a lot of lip products in this collection because lipstick is one of my favorite things as well. I love just doing bold lips. So we definitely have some bold colors here. We have Nevermore lip pencil and this is a pure black. I am so in love with the fact that there is a pure black in this collection. I noticed with a lot of her lip looks, she does have a black lip liner on or there is some depth to her lip look. Next we have Follow Your Heart and this is an intense violet purple. This could be layered under any of the colors. Particularly, this would look really beautiful under the reds that are in this collection. And Lily's Motor City would be beautiful on top of this. So we also have four lipsticks, and these are $17.50 each. The first shade we have is Try Again. Absolutely love that song from Malia, and this is a soft muted beige, and it is a matte finish. We have a creamy fire red lipstick. This is the Amplified Formula from MAC, and it is called Hot Like Dot Dot Dot, and this is inspired, the name is, after her song Hot Like Fire. Love that there's a red lip in here because there's tons of photos of her in a fiery red lip, and I think this color is so classic and so beautiful. So we have another red, and this is a deeper red. This is described as a cool deep red with an amplified finish, and this is called More Than a Woman. Another great song, love that one. And lastly, we have Street Thing. This is a pure black with shimmer, and it's a frost finish. This is most definitely inspired by the lipstick she wore in are you that somebody? So if you watch that music video, she has on this beautiful shimmery black lip. It is so like chrome and metallic. This looks exactly like it. So I'm thinking that this was totally inspired by her look in that video. All right, you guys, this is my final look. I hope you guys love it. And I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the Aaliyah for MAC collection. So I think this collection was a beautiful tribute to Aaliyah. These colors are so modern and these shades, tons of silvers, tons of color. And a lot of her looks I've seen, they're almost like editorial avant-garde looks. I feel like her music, her makeup, and just her style overall was so ahead of its time. I mean, look at this photo of her. She has chandelier earrings right here. That is so not 17 years ago. That is so ahead of its time. That is so awesome and different and unique. The makeup products are just extremely reminiscent of her looks and the looks that you see in her music videos. And you can find most, if not all of those color combinations and those shades in this collection. I hope you all enjoyed this video today and you enjoyed seeing the Aaliyah for MAC collection. If you did enjoy it, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know down below if you're gonna be trying anything from this collection. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you in my next tutorial. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight.